Our next topic is ABC analysis. So far, we looked at how to manage the inventory of a single item. But in reality, a retail store keeps thousands of items on the shelves. So if you're going to monitor all of them closely, it's going to take too much time. So how can we manage them efficiently? To answer this, we can use the ABC analysis. ABC analysis tells you how to manage multiple items efficiently using the Pareto principle. Let's refresh our memory and see what the Pareto principle was about. Pareto was an Italian economist and he studied the way money was distributed among people. He found out the majority of money was owned by a small number of people. In other words, there are a critical few and trivial many. How can we apply this to inventory management? You make money by selling your inventory, but the majority of your revenue comes from a small number of items. When you have thousands of items on the shelf, you don't need to pay attention to all of them. You only need to pay attention to the small number of items that bring you the majority of your revenue. In the ABC analysis, we're gonna classify your items into A, B, and C and treat them differently. Class A items are those on which annual dollar value is high. They represent 20% of the total inventory items, but they represent 80% of the total dollar usage. They bring in 80% of the revenue, so these are the most important items. Class B items are those items of medium uh, annual dollar value. They represent 30% of the inventory items and 15% of the total dollar usage so they are less important. Class C items are those with low annual dollar value. Uh, they represent 50% of the total inventory of items, but represent only 5% of the annual dollar value. We can illustrate this using a graph like this. On the x-axis, we list all the items from the highest value to the lowest value, on the y-axis, we have the cumulative percent of the dollar value. Now, uh, by selling 20% of our items, we are making 80% of our revenue. So that's the 80-20 rule of the Pareto principle. And these are the class A items. By selling the next 30% of your items, you are making 15% of your revenue. These are the B items. And by selling the next 50% of the items, you're making 5% of your revenue. These are the C items. So should you monitor all of them closely? No. You monitor A items most closely, B items closely sometimes, and C items less closely. So what's the advantage of ABC analysis? We can use our time more efficiently. Let's take an example and see how we can classify our, our items into A, B, and C. Consider a Walmart store with the following items on the shelf. Classify the first 75% of the annual dollar usage as A, the next 19.3 as B, and the rest as C. We have a list of items and their price per unit and their annual demand. So let's think about how we create the Pareto chart. On the x-axis, we wanna list all these items from the highest value to the lowest value. So first, let's compute the annual dollar value of each item. Let's compute the annual revenue of each item and put them in order. So first, by selling these CDs, how, do, how much do we make every year? $6 per unit times 300 units a year, so $1,800 a year. We repeat this for the rest of the items. For shampoos, $5 a unit, $1,100 a year, $5,500 a year. 
Once we have all the uh, revenues, the total revenue is the sum of these values. Now, I want to express everything into percentage. So what's the percent of 1,800 out of 15,600? So 1,800 divided by 15,600 equals 0.115. I want to express it into a percentage. So multiply by 100, you get 11.5%. We can repeat this for the rest of the items. What's the percent of 5,500 out of this? 5,500 over the total. That's 0.353. So that's 35.3%. So this way, we can compute the percent of annual revenue for each of these items. Next. Um, Let's put uh, these items in order from the highest percent to the lowest percent. The highest percent is this, shampoos, and the next highest percent is 28.2, the TVs. So let's put them in order. Remember, our question was classify the first 75% as A, the next 19.3% as B, and so on. So if you take the first one, they will generate 35.3% of the revenue. If we take the top two, they will generate 35.3 plus 28.2, 63.5% of the revenue. So let's compute the cumulative percent. The cumulative percent is the sum of the previous percentages and the current percent. So the first one, uh, the, since this is the first one on the list, the cumulative percent is the same as the percent, 35.3%. For the second one, the cumulative percent is the previous percent plus the current percent, 35.3, 28.2, 63.5. For the third one, the cumulative percent is the previous percentages plus the current percent, 75.0. So this way, we can compute the rest of the cumulative percentages. Now, uh, we want to classify the first 75% as A. So if you pick uh, the first three items, they will cover 75% of the uh, total revenue. So these are the class A items. Now, if you pick the next two items, they will cover 19.3% of the total revenue. So these are the B items. And the rest of them are C items. So here is the procedure of ABC analysis. For step one, compute the annual dollar volume for each item, which is the unit uh, price times the annual demand. Step two, compute the total annual dollar volume. Step three, compute the percentage of the annual dollar volume. Step four, sort the items in decreasing order of the percentages. Step five, classify the items into A, B, and C.